1942, they were raw recruits. Two years later, we'll be making them in assault. they faced mortal combat. On September 9th, 2001, HBO premiered the first episode of Band of Brothers, the miniseries that followed the paratroopers of Easy Company as they fought their way through Northwest Europe. It's gone down as not only one of the greatest pieces of historical drama ever made, but as well as one of the best pieces of television, paving the way for a new golden age of TV that we are still feeling the effects of today. But what if I told you there was another show that could have run alongside or even competed with Band of Brothers that would have been in the same mould as previous network hits, like Combat from the 1960s or Tour of Duty from the late 80s? One that has seemingly vanished into the vast black hole of lost media. That show was called Sam's Circus. In early 2001, a pilot for a Second World War series was commissioned by American network CBS. A variety article from 2001 outlined a rough synopsis for the series. Sam's Circus will seek to examine various morality tales set against the backdrop of war. The script follows the dynamics between the troops and focuses on how squadrons live and work together. Robert Singer of Supernatural fame directed, and the When Trumpets Fade writer William W. Vaught penned the screenplay in a joint venture between CBS and Columbia TriStar, the top bods at the network attempting to ride off the popularity of the war genre after the massive success of Saving Private Ryan in 1998 and the coattails of the aforementioned Band of Brothers. British production company Fire in the Hole provided authentic American and German kit for the production. I spoke to Rick Roberts from Fire in the Hole about his time working on the production. I got involved with Sam's Circus when a few of us hardcore US collectors got involved in Band of Brothers in different ways. I was the youngest of a small group of collectors of American World War II memorabilia and militaria. Some of the guys knew me. We were a small group with no intent, especially in the early mid 90s. So when Band of Brothers came along, they started asking for lots of collectors and dealers uh, that I knew in the UK. I also supplied most of the World War II American military uniforms and kit for the American Jeep advert that was used on TV advertising between the US series. This was filmed on Utah Beach in the summer of 2001. When filming finished at the end of 2000, the film guys, knowing I was a collector and had also made films, got in touch with kit for sale from the production. I purchased a fair bit of kit from that production, mainly US items and later over 50 German uniforms from the series as I have a friend who was one of the people who supplied most of the German kit for Band of Brothers. Uh, he supplied the German uniform for Sam Circus from the same stuff from Band of Brothers. Um, I think we all hope that CBS would do the 20 episodes. I don't know if you know, but it was a really up-to-date version of the mid-60s American TV show Combat. Sam Circus even employed Warriors Inc., the same military production advisory team that had worked on Saving Private Ryan, with the legendary Del Dye brought in to helm the show as its military advisor. Dye was tasked with choosing the unit portrayed in the show. The intent was to follow a basic army infantry squad fighting in the ETO. I chose a typical outfit, no rangers, no paratroopers, just basic grunts. We decided that the unit should be 3rd squad, 2nd platoon, Charlie Company, 1st battalion, 16th infantry of the 1st infantry division. This specific designation was only important to the actors to give them a home within the big red one. They wore the division on their shoulders in the pilot. The 60 minute pilot was tried to evoke the style and high production values of Saving Private Ryan and Band of Brothers in a one hour format with the crew from Worries Inc. putting the principal cast members through the same style of boot camp as they had done on films such as Platoon and many others. A Tiger tank was even built for the pilot. A lot of effort was being put in to Sam Circus. The music for Sam Circus was created by Jay Gruska, who has kindly allowed me to use the music he composed for the show in this video. He said this about working on Sam Circus. It was my first experience writing a circa World War II type score. There was very little money in the budget for music, so we recorded with a small brass band, two percussionists, and strings in a box. Leading Sam Circus was Sergeant Samuel Van Handel, played by Tyler Christopher, who at the time was known for his role on the American soap opera General Hospital. Kevin Connolly appeared as Corporal Little Sarge, John Rather, Daniel Brocklebank as Private Mooch, Russell Sams as Private First Class Wheels Tolland, Richard Spate Jr, who had played Skip Muck on Band of Brothers, starred as Bedpan, the medic, 
and Michael Grayers as Chief and John Hawkes as Gunner. Luckily, we have a 2003 review that details the 60 minute pilot. The story is told through the eyes of PFC Tollen Wheels, the 18 year old greenie who first appears on screen in a moving truck with his unit in Normandy, 21 days after D-Day in 1944. The episode introduces the main cast and sets up their various character traits. For example, Gunner is a heavy smoker, Bedpan is a heavy drinker, the character of Wheels narrates the pilot that culminates in an assault on a heavily defended German position. The only piece of media that exists of Sam's circus is from a showreel created by cinematographer Adam Kane. The full version of the showreel is available on Vimeo and it will be linked in the comments. So what happened to Sam's circus? Surely a network TV alternative to HBO's smash hit would have been a success. Well, the pilot was never aired on TV, nor was it even shown to test audiences. Dale Dye detailed his thoughts on the matter on the Warriors Inc. website. It never saw the light of a cathode tube. The cast was a bunch of terrific young actors. They portrayed World War II Army infantrymen extremely well, and the producer, director Bob Singer, had his heart in the right place to make subsequent episodes as good as the pilot. White never got onto the network radar screens remains a mystery, and no amount of research I've been able to do has ever yielded a credible reason. Sadly, apart from Adam Kane's showreel and a few promotional photos of the main cast, the pilot seems to have been wiped clean from the internet. There are a few mentions of the show here and there on message boards, and I found one listing for a DVD of the pilot from eBay that sold a few years back. So at least one copy is out there somewhere. The reasoning for cancelling the show remains a mystery. Did CBS executives fear that comparisons to Banner Brothers would be too great? Or that the budget for a full series would be hard to garner for CBS in 2001? We may never know. Here's hoping one day CBS dust off Sam's circus and allow us to make up our own minds. Thanks for watching and another big thank you to Jay Grisco for sharing the music for Sam Circus with us. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe and you can watch more military history here and I'll catch you again soon.